I am so done with this radio system. Recently when doing this, this happened. Here we go! Oh my god! Ah! Okay, I'm not gonna throw it away but I'm not going to invest in any more FR Sky products. And I'm only going to use it until I find something better. With FR Sky, I learned to live with the overly complex programming, never in stock receivers, bad signal strength, and glitchy channels. But this last issue was just too much. <laughs> This is the Juicy, a 3D printed dynamic soaring glider from Soarcraft. I was at my local dynamic soaring spot testing out some new features. And the wind was whipping. Crazy flying conditions. Not the best launch, but it made it. I crash all the time, and 99% of the time it's pilot error, but very exciting. And why do I do it? This is dynamic soaring. Flying in the turbulent wake of the incoming wind. No motor, just wind power. Riding the turbulent conditions faster and faster. The power of the eddy. Dynamic soaring is challenging and exciting. But the right skill and equipment are needed. The Juicy was flying awesome and I was figuring out where the power was. I flew to the front side for a mental break and an adjustment. All right, turn the rates down just a little bit. Ah. Ah. I got tripped up on a rock and jiggled the transmitter and the plane just fell out of the sky. What? The transmitter was off! And then it takes like four seconds to turn back on. Ah! By the time I get the radio turned back on, there was no signal. Probably because the battery, receiver, plane, and the whole show was splattered. I was so mad. I can shrug off pilot air. But the transmitter shutting off? You stupid radio! No, completely unacceptable. I spent hours looking for the wreckage. I knew it was on the front side, but I had no idea where. So it is the standard Tyrannus X9D Plus from 2019 with the module for different receivers, but I was using the internal radio. I had opened the back and checked to make sure that the battery was still connected and everything looked good. It was completely plugged in and looked fine. I have had weird issues in the past, but never while flying, never on video, and never like this.
way too easy for it to shut off. It was like something was broken inside. One time I restarted the transmitter and the voltage here read 0.2 volts. Smacked it and then it went to 7.4 volts. But I didn't get video of that. I unplugged the module, unplugged the battery, looked around, jiggled it, tried to see if anything was loose, but it wasn't. I put it back together and tried to do it again. And now it won't do it. I put the module back in. I even took it completely apart to see if something was loose inside. Loose connector, loose wires, bad solder joint, fried components, or suspect circuits. I didn't find anything wrong. I think it must be a battery circuit issue because it just shuts off. Over voltage, under voltage, voltage spikes, and may still be related to the external module that connects directly to this board. I have seen weird behavior with the module in different power states. Maybe there's an incompatibility with the circuits something that builds up over time. Or unplugging the battery may have reset it, but why would shaking it cause the fault? So frustrating. And since I didn't find a fault or fix anything really, it will probably happen again. So I'm in the market for a new radio. <laughs> Getting a new radio could be fun. I still struggle to get the FR Sky to do what I want. I loved my high tech Eclipse 7. It was easy, versatile, but it's 20 years old and only had an on off switch for the motor controller and the glider setup. FR Sky's open programming and versatility sounded good, but they could have done a better job with templates and a programming guide. Even dual rates was a challenge. So what would I like in a new radio? I want something that is capable, but a little easier to program than the FR Sky. It's got to be better quality, or at least good value. Stable receivers at a reasonable price, or compatible with third-party receivers, or a module. And capable of 7 channels minimum, with a slider for the throttle control if using the regular throttle stick for crow landing in glider mode, not just an on-off switch. I think that's all of it. It's not a long list, so I should be able to find something that should work. Please add a comment if you have a radio suggestion and why. Hopefully, I will have part two to this video soon with what new radio I chose. I have lots more flying I want to do, and I want to get back to crashing being solely my fault. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.